Hello Igor and welcome to my tech fan. It's time for another NS3 V2 upgrade video and uh, this time it is a .bit BLV NS3 DIY upgrade kit which I got from the Banggood in exchange for a review. This upgrade is partly aesthetic but partly functional because I will replace these uh, V-slot wheels with linear rails on all three axes and uh, I'm not sure if I will get immediately better quality of the printing but uh, I printed one uh, calibration cube a little bit bigger in X and Y it is 30 mm and I print it on double speed to see a little bit more ghosting and I hope uh, to get a little bit better quality with linear rays on these higher speeds. But uh, we will see, let's see first what's in the box. This is the first box and I can see four linear rails inside. And of course in this price range we cannot expect high wind linear rails but they move quite smoothly. And of course uh, these limiters are here with a reason because you can uh, never take off this carriage because these bars may fall out or something like that. This is the second box. And we have some aluminium parts, timing belt, smaller aluminium parts, hmm, a lot of bolts and T-nuts for assembling. And the box is empty. And unfortunately there is no user manual, but you are lucky because you have this video. I don't have it at this moment. Well, first of all, unplug the power cable. We don't need it for disassembling and it's safer to work with the printer. Quite a lot of parts, but all the help I have is a description on the Banggood website. I'm starting with removing of the bed. I will lose the tension on the timing belt, so I can remove it easily. And removing the carriage of the bed. I have to support the board from the other side of the wheel. We have to replace the Y-axis timing belt, because uh, on this version uh, this was clamped and we just place it into this slot. With new setup, the Y-axis is this one, which is not clamped at the end. So let's remove this old timing belt. From mounting I will use this M3 by 8 hex socket bolts and T-nuts. I use approximately every second or third hole and they are all aligned now and I can set, place them in this groove. This is important part, I already tried several combinations. So on this plate, this is the smallest part, it has to go left back side because it will not hit the stepper motor. Now uh, these are holes which we have to use, so this means that linear rail must be mounted on the right side, right groove, and this is the position of the belt holders. So this belt locker must be on the left side and then it will not be on the way of the linear rail. Uh, before I mount it I will lock the position of the back side of the timing belt, because now it's easier. And I just pray start the other side, but I will tight it later. I noticed that I, I have more bolts than spring washers, so I'm using the spring washer only uh, under the, every second or third bolt. And now I'll tie the other side of the timing belt. So this is the final good combination, now the plate will not hit the stepper motor and also these bolts will prevent to slip down from the linear rail. Now I can place the tension on the timing belt and cut unnecessary part. 
It's time to take off the X-Gen 3, so again I'm using the opponent branch from one side and the Allen key from the other. Just in case if it falls down so it will not hit the plate. I'm holding the X-Gen 3 because I'm taking out the last bolt. As you can see I have dual ZXs installed but I have to remove these top holders because uh, these two plates has to be replaced. This part will go here and this part will go here and they will be screwed to the carriage of the linear rail. I will install the Z-Linear rail now, I left the bottom limiter and I used every second hole after that. And currently I'm not really sure where should be its position, so probably I have to adjust it later. But uh, so far I'm starting with uh, one centimeter, maybe I will place the screen the final distance from the top frame. And same on the other side, uh, I left the bottom limiter so it will not fall out and I use every second hole. I will screw the left side to the linear rail and for this I will use M3 by 10 bolts. Hey, it's Igor from Future. Before you mount these two holders, first uh, install the x alloy extrusion on them because they have to be bolted from this side here. From opposite side. M4 by 40 and from the other side this uh, locking nut. I prepared the trapezoidal nut. Of course I have to adjust the height, but I will do that later. It's time to remove the stepper motor, but I will remove the hot end too, because it will be easier to work with this solar extrusion. Looks like I have to go a few steps back because uh, this plate has to be screwed to this extrusion with, with these two bolts, but uh, I can do it only when this is taken off. I hope you saw my warning on time so you don't have to do these uh, back steps. This is the third time I have to go backwards since I don't have any kind of the user manual and originally this kit is uh, prepared for NDS3 Pro. Well, on the other side looks like I have to use this uh, TINAS in the slot because I don't have uh, drilled holes in the all extrusion. I will insert the TINAS now and, and move them but it is much easier if you do this before it's uh, mounted. Now, unfortunately, I cannot finish this video with mounting the X Linear Rail 2 because I have this Microsys Direct Drive Extruder, which is a CNC machine for the V slot wheels, and uh, it cannot be mounted directly to this linear rail. Actually, the Microsys has the version for the Linear Rails 2. Maybe I will uh, modify this by milling down these ribs and maybe drilling of uh, four holes, but uh, that's the subject for one of my next videos. Uh, if you have a stock and the 3 v 2 hot end, in that case the procedure is very simple. You have to mount this uh, X stepper motor here. 
So the position of the batteries will be the same in the center of this solar extrusion. But uh, the limit switch will be uh, now a little bit on different position. That's why you have to use these spacers between uh, this part here. And the stock cotton you can mount on this plate here. I already screwed this uh, belt holder. And the mounting of the hot end will be here. And these two holes are for mounting on the X carriage on a linear rail. But in my case, I'm going back to Wieslot wheels on the X until I don't solve this problem. And also, one more important thing I have to solve later, and that's the pressure of the Y limit switch. Because currently, now we don't have uh, wheels below and this limit switch will not be pressed. Theoretically, we have this presser, but uh, I'm sure that uh, these are not these holes. Uh, the exact position I will know only when I mount the bed surface on it. For mounting, I'm using the stock bolts, but if you are using this distancer here, in that case you have to use the longer ball, which is provided in the kit. Now on this side we have this tensioner on the X belt. I remove this plate from here. And now I have a gap here of 3 millimeters. So before I tie back this bolt I have to place some kind of washer so it will not bend this plastic part. I have this 3 millimeter washer, but uh, you can use a CD printed part 3 millimeter in thickness. If you plan to use this inside the enclosure then don't use PLA, use PETG instead. And now mounting the bed and find the exact position of the Y limit switch presser. Probably I have to drill some holes here. I'm not really sure, is it visible on camera? So this is the position of the nozzle when I want that uh, Y axis limit switch to be triggered. And I have to mark this position. Now uh, it will be very hard to find exact holes for the final version, so I have to find some solution with some kind of slider so I can do some fine adjustment before I tighten the bolts. There is the limit switch and I mark here the line where I, I need that stopper. And the switch is almost aligned with these two holes. Well, this is my solution, L bracket, I milled a groove inside. And if you decide to uh, use a CD printed part, uh, definitely this is too close to the hotbed, so don't use PLA but PETG or maybe even ABS. Approximately this is the position of this uh, bracket, uh, there is the mark. Uh, so I will uh, drill two holes near the center so I have some space for fine adjustment. So this is the place for my holes. the proper solution would be to remove this plate but I started to get tired from this project. Let's do the first homing and to see where the nozzle will end it. It should be here in this corner the zero zero position. But maybe it's a little bit hardly visible but that's the zero position of the Y so almost on the edge of this bed which is perfect. I'm placing back these knobs and then I will do manual bed leveling and then I will do the outer leveling which is actually creating an offset mesh and uh, then it will compensate any inaccuracy in Z during the printing. And now let's wrap in the same calibration cube using the same G-code. Watching these two calibration cubes, they look very equal, the same amount of degaussing in Y direction. And now the final conclusions, well, something what I expected, so I couldn't see immediately difference in the printing quality. 
but uh, in one thing I'm sure that uh, these linear rails are much more durable compared to the Wislot pills, which you should check after every maybe three months. Are they tight? Uh, they are also wearing. So uh, definitely linear rails are much more durable. So you install it and for years they will work perfectly. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't mount this on X axis because uh, this uh, MicroSys Direct Drive Extrude is very important for me. This is my primary for printing TPU. You will see the, some bigger TPU review is coming. Polymakers, all TPU filaments are tested. And basically, I printed them all uh, on this because it has very open structure and I can see immediately if there is any problem. Uh, if you have some any other experience, then you know, uh, write me a few lines in the comment section. And uh, I hope I will find some kind of solution to mount this or uh, I will modify uh, this holder because this is CNC machine for Vistot wheels. And uh, actually the microsys uh, have a direct drive extruder especially for these uh, linear rails. Well, that's it uh, in this episode. Thank you for watching and happy printing.